mighty Paul Bunyan, he lived long ago. His strength and his goodness helped America grow. When Paul Bunyan was just one month old, he placed his baby hands around a young maple tree and tore it out of the ground roots and all. When he was only 18, he was already 25 feet tall and weighed 800 pounds, all bone and muscle. He took one look at the deep forests of the West and found his job to chop down the trees to make room for cities, farms, and people. Come all you sons of freedom that run the forest stream. Come all you roving lumberjacks and listen to my theme. We'll cross the roaring rivers where the mighty waters flow. And we'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumbering go. And once more a lumbering go. And once more a lumbering go. We'll roam the wild woods over and once more a lumbering go. Paul Bunyan was so tall, he covered miles with every step. Why, one day he started walking across the country. He walked across Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, and then stepped into the state of Wisconsin. There, he met an old farmer, his head bowed down with grief. The farmer told Paul his story. I'm going down the road feeling bad. Oh, my crops have failed and now I'm feeling sad. My family is hungry and we have no place to live. I'm going down the road feeling bad. And with five blows of his axe, Paul Bunyan cleared a space of 10 miles for a brand new farm. Thank you, Paul Bunyan, cried the farmer. You're welcome, said Paul, as he took an extra big step and walked from Wisconsin into Montana. Yes, Paul Bunyan did some remarkable things, all right. As a soldier in the Revolutionary War, he faced a whole line of cannon. As the Hessian soldiers fired at him, he picked up a tree trunk and batted their cannonballs right back, like baseballs. Once, when pirates were roaming the east coast of the United States, he splashed his foot in the ocean and started a wave that sank the whole pirate navy. Oh, and I almost forgot, he also built the Rocky Mountains. Paul grabbed the hill with either hand with a ring ting a tim ring a tid a nay and set them down so they would stand in a row. He built the Rockies up so high the topmost peak held up the sky with a ring ting a tim ring a tid a nay. Then came the biggest job of his life. The country had no inland waterway large enough for big ships carrying heavy freight. So, Paul Bunyan began to dig. Soon, he had scooped out hundreds of miles of earth. Now, he wanted rain, so he clapped his hands together. And down poured the rain. Until the holes in the earth were filled with the Great Lakes. La, 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 la. Now, one of the Great Lakes was named Lake Erie, and the town of Buffalo was on its shore. It took just another day's work for Paul Bunyan to dig the Erie Canal from Buffalo to Albany, and the inland waterway was completed. In his later years, with his big jobs done, Paul Bunyan went back to one of his favorite hobbies, mountain making. But this was a mountain for children, a rock candy mountain. All the buzzing of the bees in the popcorn trees near the chocolate ice cream fountain where the jelly beans grow and the milkshakes blow down the big rock candy mountain. Oh, the children eat their fill of the whipped cream hill and no one's ever counting. There's so much to eat. Life is one long treat on that big rock candy mountain. Did Paul Bunyan really live? 
Well, nobody knows for sure. Oh, mighty Bobanyan, he lived long ago. His strength and his goodness helped America. 